Hi again. Uh, I've got some good news. I um, actually fixed this uh, FRG7, which had a huge sensitivity problem. It would pick up strong stations, but uh, it was not um, not reliable. I couldn't get it all the time, and it was incredibly sensitive. But it did pick stations up. That's what threw me. So anyway, I checked all the oscillators. They were all good. And then I started working from the front end back and uh, to make a long story short, I just checked the outputs of the oscillator. Let me show you the schematic. Yeah, I checked the two inputs from the oscillators here and here, which were good. I checked the output here, and then I traced the, um, sorry about that. And I traced the 52 megahertz signal to here, to here, to here. And what I found was the signal was coming into the base here, but there was nothing coming out here, which then in turn caused nothing to come out here, where it actually goes to um, the second board. This is the RF board. So from the RF board to the RF board, there was nothing coming out here. Um, and that was a problem. That was a big problem. So I figured most likely, given I'd already changed this FET and the, this FET, which are most likely culprits in these, already changed those two. Um, and the signal was getting up to here, but not beyond. So the third mixer is this transistor, which gets a signal from here. So it goes up here, kind of goes out there, it goes there, gets mixed. And then what you get at the RF board going out is that. That's what I was not getting. I'm getting a 55 megahertz signal 57 millivolts peak to peak, regardless of whether there's a signal or not. I was not getting that here at test point 104. I hope you can see that. Right. I was just not getting that output, and so I started working my way back. So the transistor that was actually faulty is this one right here. That was dead. And that transistor on the schematic is this last driver here. So you got a 52 megahertz signal amplified, amplified, sort of amplified. And then here is a 52 megahertz signal that goes to the last second mixer and then goes out. So this baby was not producing any output and therefore I was not getting any output there. So yeah, this last transistor was dead. I replaced it with uh, a higher gain one, a 2SC930 I had, and I also replaced this these two, given I took them both out. That was working, but had a HFE of 90. This was dead. So I replaced both of them with uh, what I had, which was a 2SC930, very high quality front end transistor. And uh, it's back to light, it's beautiful, it's working. I can pick up everything. You don't live in Australia. Just a simple aerial, wire, a bit of wire up there. Uh, that is my AM, and uh, yeah, shot ray works, USB, everything works now. Extremely happy, so if you have one that's very, very faint or weak, but does pick signals up, follow my advice and replace the transistor, or check at least these transistors here. Uh, what is it on the circuit? It's Q109. Check that, Q109, that one. You should see a good signal all the way from the IC pin 3 coming out to Q107 to Q108 and uh, Q109 should produce a signal and you should get a very strong output there at the second IF and it should look like that. So if I knew all this, if I knew what I should be getting at the output of the RF board, I would have been much faster but I kind of didn't. So there you go, thanks for watching and uh, yeah I'll probably now that it's actually alive, I'll recap the rest of it and uh, yeah, keep it. It's a pretty cool little unit.